It's shocking video of a carjacking as it happens. This is my car. The victim is an Uber Eats driver, and he's hanging on to his car for dear life as it speeds away. She's stealing their car. What makes the crime especially disturbing? The identities of the alleged carjackers. Two girls, one is just 13 years old, the other is 15 years old. They're not even old enough to drive, and police say one teen is a suspect in another carjacking from three months ago. Watch as the team behind the wheel floors the stolen car. She's stealing their car. She's stealing the car. Yeah, we called the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. After hearing the crash, the witness recording everything starts running and finds the car up the block flipped on its side and the two teens climbing out of the mangled vehicle. These girls stole the car. Hey, they stole the car. They stole the car. The suspect expresses concern for her cell phone. The victim, 66-year-old Mohammed Anwar, an immigrant from Pakistan who came to America seven years ago. Across the USA, carjackings are becoming an epidemic within an epidemic. Carjackings are up 350% in D.C., 126% in New Orleans, 537% in Minneapolis, and up 55% in Chicago, where this dad was shot as he tried to stop a carjacking. Dad? Dad? Thankfully, he survived. So what can you do if you find yourself a carjacking victim? Inside Edition security expert, Steve Cardian. Is there anything that I should have in my car that would be helpful if I become a victim? Pepper spray is a good idea. It's legal in all 50 states. Have it available. Have it at your ready. Don't leave it at the bottom of your purse or in the back of your backpack. Okay, hey, Eddie, if I was the attacker, you want to sit back, brace your hands up, bring your knees up to your chest, and you want to kick my stomach, my groin, and or my face. Nothing is worth your life, though, right? Nothing's worth your life. Don't bargain your property for your life. Give it up, especially if he has a weapon. No, I'm not 